Can you hear me? Hey, Mr. Keebs. Hey. hey. Hold on. Wait, why is... Okay. Something's bad. Yep. Give me one second. It's on my end. I've got some heads there. Okay, okay, so, hold on. Okay, is it you then? Yes, so it is, it is a beefcake. Okay. And... are muted for some reason okay all right so mr. Keith is going to get his head headset right now and what's up Anthony hey that's never so on. is it hold on can you say hi again hello okay I know what's I know what's wrong hold on, hold on. okay so Can you try that again, Devinus? Can uh, Can you guys hear me? Okay, perfect. I think what was happening was I was playing off of my speaker, so it was weird. Oh yeah, that's that's uh, okay, yeah. that's not quite right. You? Just kind of soft. Let me bump you up. I sound like a robot. Yeah, uh oh, that's so weird. Yeah, the first time it sounds normal, and then you become a robot. Huh, see, Mr. Keeve sounds fine. Yeah, he sounds good to me too. Hmm, maybe try reconnecting? Yeah, sure, one sec. <laughs> am, am I still a robot? Yes. Oh, we both sound like robots. Oh, I do too as well? No, apparently Mr. Keeves and I both sound like robots. Huh. What? Do I sound like a robot as well? Yep, I do. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let me see why that is. I'm so confused. Okay. Can you guys say hi again just to see if it's still messed up? It is messed up. Yeah, it definitely is. Okay, so do I sound like a robot to you guys? No, you still sound fine over stream. Huh. But do I sound fine on Discord? Yeah, you sound fine on Discord too. Wow, that is so trippy. Hmm. Let's try, let's try another channel, hold on. Okay, can you guys go to the Zuzu One Keyboards general voice channel? See if it shows up over there. See if it's fine there. So we did, we're testing this feature live, right? This is a new feature for everyone. Okay, let's see. Was my OBS? Oh, maybe that's what it is. CPU usage isn't so bad though. Hello? Okay, Devness, okay, you're here. Let me see. Yeah, you still sound like a robot. God damn it. Hmm. I wonder what it is. Okay. Do I sound like a robot, robot as well? 
Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, so it could be a few things. It could just be Discord. Pretty sure it's just Discord. Yeah, I could. Could be Discord. Or maybe now we know how Mr. Keeves can stream almost every day. He's actually a robot. Okay. Apparently, I can that's, try to switch servers. That's how he keeps uh, churning out so many 3D printed boards. <laughs> he actually just shits them out, literally. His butt is a 3D printer. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Keeves is the 3D printer. Yep. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Exactly. It all started with printing myself. <laughs> Did you print your wife too? I will not comment on that. Okay. Okay. Private. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah. So I'm. I'm so curious. I'm. I'm. I'm so confused. Why? It sounds like that. Um, from what I see online, it says it's usually a Discord problem with the servers the connection quality mm. we could try you know just going with the robot bias <laughs> either that or we could try to use skype if you guys want to try that yeah let me open skype me, uh... oh god skype <laughs> okay yeah like i, I recently opened off. skype for the first time in at least one or two years it was my brother's birthday over the weekend, so we called home back on Skype. Okay. So I'm going to try Skype. Let me look for... Mr. Keeps, can you send me your... Your... Look, my, my, my ex-wife's number says wife on Skype. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying... Was that, uh, the, so was, my... that the, was that the prototype of your 3D printer wife? <laughs> exactly. The first one. It didn't work out very well. Well, zero that one, wife zero that one. <laughs> let me PM you. Yeah, yeah, Skype. Let, yeah. Just PM me your. Let's try Skype and see if that works out better for us. Very hard to guess too. Oh, I see. Yeah, that is that is. I've never. That is such a strange name, my friend. I've never seen that. Yeah, robots do that. They like use cryptic oh, well, usernames. But there's one with your full name, so I'm gonna assume. Hold on. Uh, maybe it's my full name. Hold on. Let me see. I don't even know where I get my username from. Can I just add people to it? Or do I have to? So do I hang up on Discord? Yeah, just hang up on Discord and then we'll see if we can mm -hmm. add. All right, hang up. I think you sound fine here. Okay. So you sound fine to me. Can you still hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Mr. Keeves, can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? Okay, I can't hear anything, so I'll have to probably turn unmute me with the, the Twitch. Yeah, I can only hear you from Twitch and not from Skype. I don't know why. Okay, maybe my Skype mic isn't working. Hold on, hold on. Okay, can you hear me, Mr. Keeps? I think I can now. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Great. Perfect. Okay, let's add Devness. I'm gonna look him up on here. 
<laughs> Google Hangout next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's see. Did I add you as a friend? Hold on. You did. I was very flattered. <laughs> <laughs> What just happened to my Skype? What? You can't add him? Hold on. Well, I'm not very familiar with how to use the new Skype. Hold on. Me neither. You, you should hear the new ringing tone. It's. I thought it was like a club here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see if... And I use Zoom at work as well, not Hangouts. Did that work? Devness, I think we tried to call you. Oh, hello. Hey, okay. Hey. There wow, we go. Wow, look at that. 99, 99, 1998 all over again. I know, hey. right? See, but it actually works, not like fucking Discord. <laughs> <laughs> the old people know what's up. Right? This is when I was on my 35s, I used to use a lot of Skype. Okay, yeah. So I think, can everybody hear everyone just fine? Okay, so let's see chat. I haven't looked at chat in a bit. Okay. So I apologize for those of you who showed up. Team, <laughs> team Ski. Oh no. Okay. So who. Okay, Vi Violet Viceroy, hey. SNC Brax is here too. Always good to see you, Brax. How's it going? Pan of Water made it. College Art on Landline. I can't believe they still try to offer that. When I tried to sign up for internet, they asked if I still wanted landline or something. Mr. Keeves, do you still have a landline phone? If I have a landline, yes, I do. It's uh, it's quite common here. Oh, really? But it's still common there? Oh, really? It is, it is a, real, a little bit uh, uh, common, but I don't have a, a actually a device to put it on it, so I'm not using it for the past year or so. So I don't. Oh, okay. Affect, so you have yeah. the, uh, you have a line, but you don't have a, a phone. Basically, you don't have a physical yes. phone. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I think I think in Malaysia they have stopped using it pretty much. I think I know my parents have stopped having a landline for a long, long, long time. I think ever since we moved to the new house, we just stopped having a. When we moved, how long ago? Could be at least I, five I, I six was years so yeah that i give out my landline because people sometimes uh -huh. they ask you to have a landline for to apply for certain things okay. you have to have a landline but i just realized that i don't have a phone if yeah if you don't have a phone like what? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so do you have to pay for it to keep it or do you just get charged based on how much you use it so basically here in brazil uh internet started as a uh you always had to have uh like a landline attached to your when it was like dial up and everything, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But when they converted to DSL and then to cable and fiber, mm -hmm. they kept that that stupidity. So even nowadays, if you get like a fiber, mm -hmm. you get both the fiber and a landline along with it. Okay, but you don't have the option to cancel it. You don't. Huh. Okay. So you, you have like a free one that you just use if you just get charged if you use it, okay, but you okay. still have to own like a, a landline number. Oh, that's yeah, well. Yeah, at, le at least you don't get charged. I guess they probably included it already, but yeah, yeah. Do 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 the internet providers do cable as well, or are they separated? Yeah, so the the cable ones are separated. They, they, those are the ones that came from the TV cable, mm -hmm. naturally, and those don't enforce you to have a, a landline. It's only fiber, and if you want something like DSL, for instance. Okay. Yeah. Cause I know it was kind of weird when I was over here, when I came here, and then you know how the ISPs are also the same ones as your your your, your telephone companies, and also the same ones as your cable providers. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. not that way in Malaysia. Then. No. Yeah. Uh, so in Malaysia, you have the national TV. What do they call that here? Free TV, free public free TV, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And and then we have this service called Astro, which is not Malaysian. It's I think mostly Southeast Asian. So it has, serves other Asian countries as well, but I know mostly Southeast Asia. Um, 
And so yeah, so it's like a premium thing that you sign up for. Yeah, but it's not based in Malaysia. Yeah, so kind of a different way of doing it. But yeah, a lot less channels than what you have in America. In America, it's kind of it's kind of too many options. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's overwhelming, especially when I travel there mm -hmm. and I start zapping the channels. Uh -huh. It's super <laughs> overwhelming. Then I try to memorize two or three and just go by numbers. Otherwise, oh my god. Yeah. It, so yeah. So I don't, think. Don't they give you a TV guide in the places you stay? They're uh, not always updated, though, right? That's true. Yeah. Yeah, and it's even the channel that the TV guide thing is overwhelming for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I will say one of the coolest things I've seen added to to just TV is DVR. Is it called DVR where you can rewind and record and everything? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's probably the coolest thing. I know. Apparently, that's the most requested feature for Twitch. People really want an option to do that because you can't rewind live. I think YouTube you can do it. I think. I'm not sure. Oh, we. I bet people would see you over and over snapping that. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> just rewind and just repeat Man, I, it. I just felt loop. for you like so bad. Like, oh my god! I I actually I, I had to take a second. Like once uh, I realized what had happened, I yeah, like paused like, oh, the stream. You know? I was like, oh, it's shit. bendy. Oh, it's not very bendy. <laughs> well, that happened to me too. I don't remember with which board. If it was the Duck Viper or another one. Yeah, because I mean, I'm, I'm pretty, I, I've done that on <laughs> on all the other ducks before. That one just happened to just fucking just go basically immediately. Yeah, <laughs> I take I take full responsibility for it though. I should not have been trying to. Build. Yeah, shit, shit happens. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you have a visionary. Were you uh, watching the stream right when it happened? Or oh yeah, did, you're like sure. looking away <laughs> for for a second, <laughs> and then you heard it. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I guess man. I'll be eating noodles for the next week. Yep. Just, just, just eat ramen for the next week. Hey, man, if you got some more of that, uh, th those curry noodles, I think you're, <laughs> you're pretty sad. Yeah. <laughs> or or what I need to do is I just need to strike gold on the Master Recap. Get a red samurai and I'll be, I'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That would cover for sure. <laughs> yep. <laughs> cover any or refund. you can just send it straight to Visionaire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an expensive refund. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, so let's see who else was here. Okay. PC Lowlander is here. Hey, how's it going? You prefer a robot? Oh. oh eventually. I know we'll get one thing that annoys me, I will say. Because, you know, I don't watch sports much anymore now, but growing up, I watched a lot of soccer. And in the U.S., it's so hard to watch soccer. Oh yeah, I saw the world. I was there during the World Cup, uh -huh. and I actually bought a VPN account that had like a Brazilian connection, uh -huh. so I could stream my national TV. Nice. That's how much I hated the, the broadcast, the American yeah. broadcast. It's terrible. Like, oh, they scored. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So first of all, it's hard to get, and then the commentators are so bad. So, so, so bad. The, comment the American commentators are just really, really bad. I don't even know how. Yeah. But yeah, and then another no, annoying thing is a lot of... Um, stuff like Comedy Central, it's all tied into their cable stuff. So, you know, you have to have an account. You have to be a paying subscriber with the cable just to watch a lot of their content and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's just... I just hate how everything's so connected. Honestly, I, I barely watch TV anymore. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, but... I don't watch TV at all. I have, I have an at cable. I know most people, when they say, oh, you, you're just saying you don't watch TV. You know, I bet you watch Netflix. I don't even watch Netflix. I, I, I do watch a lot of TV still. You still watch a lot of TV? Right? Okay. Like uh, national TV? Like yeah. local shows? Okay. Uh -huh. Like local stuff, uh, mostly. And of course, HBO and those things that I could get like from HBO Go mm -hmm. and a lot of Netflix as well. Yeah, I wish. I, I know there are a lot of really good shows on Netflix, but I don't know. I think because when I moved, when I was 
11, my parents, we didn't move our TV with us. So we just left it at the old place. And so we just never bought one for at least a decade or so. And so we literally had no TV. And so our furniture didn't point to anything. <laughs> and, wow. And so, yeah, so I got out of the habit of watching TV. And so, you know, now if you put it on, you know, I don't, if you have it there in front of me, I still won't watch it unless, you know, it's like friends there or something and they're watching a show and they want me to watch it with them. But yeah, but if I'm on my own, I just kind of don't really care for it. Yeah, and I also like American sports, uh, like football and whatnot. So I also watch for that. I think, okay. yeah. That's... Uh, there's, there's so many ads though. Oh yeah, yeah, I cannot, I cannot do the ads. Oh, oh. It's a pain, like how often it gets interrupted and go to commercials and whatnot. It, it is a pain. Yeah, so what I do is like you grew up watching soccer, you know, you're just so not used yeah. to that. Exactly, it's a pain. So I keep I keep your stream up at the same time, and I'm always like looking here, looking there. That's what I was doing. I was watching some football uh, with my wife. Does your Does your wife watch sports at all? Uh, she's mostly on the cell phone while while I'm watching. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> But yeah, she she pays me company while I watch. Okay, well that's good. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, because I know I know some families are kind of weird about that. Where, so for example, I know my brother's wife's family, like back then, whenever do you know Christmas or Thanksgiving, they would want the whole family to sit in the living room together to watch TV. But no one's actually watching the fucking TV. You know, everyone's just on their phones. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. And, you know, so we all, and then it's just some shitty Christmas show that no one cares about. And, and yeah, but they demand it. And so it's just kind of strange to me. I think my family never really cared for that. And Yeah, the disruption today with, with cell phones. Everybody's on a different... Uh, how can you say it like a different Wavelength. yeah exactly yeah and it's so weird like to see that yeah the funny, I grew the up funny with... thing is the funny thing is i think especially the past few years whenever i do happen to be you know hanging out with some older people it's the older people that are on their phones a bit more so i know when i went back home uh when my brother went home as well you know, we all noticed that our parents were using their phones a lot more often than we were mm -hmm. at the dinner table. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, my parents do that, too. Your parents did it, too, yeah. Uh, which yeah. is funny, because, you know, growing up, you know, they they always tell you, oh, just get off your phone, you know, we're eating. You know, if, you, if, you, if you're on your phone, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to feed you anymore. And... And yeah, nowadays we have to tell it to, to our parents. Yeah, no, parents. I, I harass them back. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, on that on that subject, I watched a very good movie yesterday mm -hmm. that is all about that. The connected lives, cell phones, and whatnot. It's called Searching. And Searching. the whole thing is for, yeah, it was revolutionary uh -huh. because there is no actual footage, uh, like raw footage. Everything on the movie is either uh, communicated through youtube videos or facetime calls or chats like i message uh, messenger chat okay, okay. and whatnot it's such a good movie and at the beginning i said i'm gonna hate this movie uh, -huh. uh because of this idea of trying to not have any like raw footage everything is on a window somewhere it's kind of weird but in the end the, the the story the plot is so good that i love the movie so it's a good recommendation if you guys want to so go to the movies searching you said oh, no, searching kidding. yes Really good movie. I'm gonna look that up actually. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up right now. And I'll try any. Thank you so much for the sub. Three months in a row. I see you. Yeah, let me plug the keyboard in and we can look at that. And also, so what I'm doing right now is I'm working on a numpad. There's a camp numpad. So this is also for Deadwing Dick. And thankfully, this isn't anywhere near as problematic as the CLSM was. And this is actually re-anodized I believe so turned into black it was blue I want to say and really hmm. is that, is that the key blue, it was kind of a cyan 
uh, which is you know what most people want, but I think Deming Dick doesn't really like light blue as much. At least that's what I remember. I don't know. I was gonna ask. Sorry, if that's the kit that he tried to sell for a long time. Yes. Yes. Oh man. That with the TKL, I, I, and I don't know what's going yeah. on with the TKL. I think he tried to re-anno it and it didn't work out very well. And I think he's trying to powder coat it. I think. And it's such a nice board. I don't know why nobody pick it pick it up. I know, right? Mm. How's the uh, Riano on the um, on the pad though? Okay, so the Riano. So first of all, it's black. So you know, it's it hides a lot of everything. Uh, you see some streaking on the sides. I'm gonna show you on camera. I had to I had to mute myself. I was laughing here because oh. I heard what about Rihanna? <laughs> <laughs> I swear I go, what? Where did that come from? <laughs> I mean I mean that too. Uh, yeah, what about Rihanna? How random would that be? <laughs> We've changed Sorry, it to guys. black and Rihanna showed up. Come on, bro. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so Oh no. <laughs> at least at least it's not brown. True. Yeah, <laughs> that would be that would be way worse. I think. I think Beyonce is overrated. I think nothing beats Rihanna, other than Chris Brown. <laughs> okay. I knew that was coming. Yeah, from a mile I away. No, I I don't I don't know those jokes, so there are no. Oh, you don't know? Okay, so a few, a few uh, It's got to be at least a decade now, right? It's so long ago, but. Not been there was a time. huge public case. Oh no no, I know the story. I don't know okay. the jokes. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're just saying that, that yeah, that nothing beats Rihanna except Chris Brown. <laughs> Chris Brown, yeah. So yes. I hear you. Pretty overdone joke. But yeah, so the analyzing, you see some streaking, but really it's not so bad. Uh, it's the the analog kinda reminds me of what they do with the canoe and stuff like that, where you have the the the, the, the colors streaks going across it yeah but i mean no major problems i think that for a numpad yeah i mean such a small area that it's yeah kind of you don't it's... as long as the top is fine and surprisingly it it, it doesn't there's no horrible mismatch so i've seen you you think that black is pretty easy to get right, but on TGRs I've seen the blacks just not match at all. This is not terrible. See, so if you view it no, head on, it's not so bad. From here, at least it looks really good. My X sixty uh -huh. is like one of the worst an 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 in that your I collection. Know. I'm sorry. One of the worst in your collection. Yes, uh, oh. it lots lots of streaking, like the worst streaking. I've wow, ever seen. Okay. Did yours come with any chips or uh, messed up screw holes or anything like that? I don't think so. I was looking in that regard. Okay, let me look at chat since I missed quite a bit. Um, one in a million is here. Hey, how's it going? Okay, one day we're going to have one in a million on chat too. And what's this here? <laughs> she deserved it. No, no. And Brian, no, I don't really think Beyonce is overrated. It was just a setup for the Rihanna thing, but don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so my brother and his wife actually went to a Beyonce concert just earlier this month. And they said that the best part, of course, was Beyonce. The kind of whatever part was that their, their seating wasn't very good. And then the worst part for sure was the opening act was DJ Khaled. So, have you guys seen DJ Khaled's performance at the Overwatch League final? No, it was pretty bad. Oh yeah, it was really bad. Let me, let me put a link on YouTube. Uh, Okay, I'm just gonna put it into chat. But Vice Roy says I went to see Beyonce and DJ Khaled open. He was really good though. So he's he's actually not terrible of an opener. 
but if he's the main show, then it's pretty bad. So this one, I think he was on there for about 17 minutes or something. Yeah. Yeah, so, I don't know. Um, I thought, when I was growing up, you know, I love music. I still love music. And I thought that I would, you know, when I come to the U.S., you know, tickets here, it's pretty accessible, honestly. Uh, tickets to big concerts. And I thought I would go to a lot of them. But after going to one outdoor concert, I kind of lost interest in almost any concerts. Have, do you guys go to concerts often? I've been to a couple, but I don't really have much interest either. It's, it's too much going on. Uh-huh. And I don't like being in uh, large crowds like that. Yeah. I used to go a lot more. Nowadays, I just avoid the, the whole mass, the whole... Because here in Brazil, they are massive, right? And there's a lot of people. It's, uh, I've been to some in the U.S. where uh-huh. they're more organized and with chairs and everything. But everybody was, like, not very... How can I say? It was very chill at the concert. They were not even singing along. or That, that was very unique to me, how people were behaving at the concert. Both for the good and for the bad. Okay, yeah. It was weird. Yeah, because I know over here, you know, some people go a bit too hard at concerts. And they probably have to price alcohol really expensive so that... Apparently, that's one of the reasons why they sell alcohol really expensive at stadiums, at sporting events. It's so that... One thing, of course, is just to make money, right? And another thing is so that you reduce the number of drunkards in the stands. Yeah, that's just asking for trouble yeah so can you imagine if you know there's like fucking unlimited beer or something oh my god no yeah that would yeah. that would be pretty bad yeah so i don't know the the, the last concert i went to well okay maybe that's not the last one but the, the one that kind of made me stop going to most concerts was i went to a pentatonix concert so do you, you guys know pentatonix right the acapella group? yeah yeah and so they are based in arlington which is 20 minutes drive from where I am, 20, 25 minutes, well, okay, maybe a bit more, about half an hour from where I am. And so we, my freshman year in college, we actually went to go see them in Arlington. It was a free concert. It was their, you know, coming home concert after that won the, the acapella competition thing that got them famous. And so we went to go see them and we weren't even early, but we somehow managed to sneak to the third or second row second row i think we just kind of just squeezed in and people just i don't know why they just let us through and yeah so we were in the second row and i think maybe after the event now i think about it i think now i know why they let us through because it actually really sucks if you're so far forward because you can't hear anything yeah yeah and all the elbow we could see their faces but seriously i could not make out a single word they were saying it's just noise I was in the first row for uh, an Alanis Morissetti uh, concert here uh-huh. in Brazil, and it wasn't that bad. I could I could understand most of it. The, the worst part for me is how you feel like squeezed in and all the elbow fighting. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. That was the worst for me. I stayed there for maybe half an hour, and then I decided to and then you left. just go back. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think the it's kind of weird. You know, growing up, you you you. You see, you know, orchestra concerts in, on TV or something, you know, and you think, who the hell even goes to these things, right? It's so boring. But now that, you know, I'm not even old, old. And, you know, after going to a few concerts, I'm like, okay, now I think I kind of get orchestra concerts because the acoustics are way better and you can actually hear what's going on. And, so, and then, you know, everyone's nicely seated. It's all, you know, very... formal i guess and so yeah know, there's not a lot of people going crazy going drunk people still have their clothes on every you know everyone doesn't you know no one smells like piss and yeah so i don't know i think i kind of see the appeal of that yeah now going to um like an actual concert hall is nice for events uh that's pretty much the only musical thing i'll pay to go see now is yeah either the orchestra or musicals because uh, otherwise, it's just kind of a mess. I have actually never been to like a concert. I've been to like 
broad, uh, Broadway uh, musicals? plays and other okay. and musicals, Mamma Mia and uh, Phantom of the Opera, but not to concerts. Ooh, I, to I really Phantom want to Opera? go. What, did you see it in New York or something? Yeah. Wow. It's, okay. I did like it. I don't know why I didn't like it. You didn't but like it? You didn't like it, really? Did not. No, huh. I don't know why. I didn't connect to the whole thing. But I did <laughs> like Mamma Mia better. I think it was okay. easier to. I guess Mamma Mia is a lot more fun, though. Yes. It is. It's yeah. much more upbeat. So I can see that. I mean, you know, you're always smiling, you know. You don't want to pay so much money to go be sad and to, to, to have tension. You, know, you want to have fun, right? Yeah. I don't know. Most people like Phantom of the Opera. I didn't like it. Did, did you go with. Who, did, did you go with people? Did you go with? Uh, me and my wife. Okay. Did she did she like? Phantom she of the did. Opera? She like it a little better than I did. Okay. Yeah, but she loved Mamma Mia, of course. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've never been to a, a an actual you know like professional musical. I've only seen the ones at my college, and I mean you know I mean, it's still it's not terrible, but it's uh it's pretty different from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually seeing a full Broadway production. Yep. And Yeah, but I don't know. Um uh musicals I was surprised I liked them more than I thought I would, I will say. But and so, you know, I'm okay with musicals when I'm watching them. I I I, I don't know why, but I really hate listening to musical soundtracks. Mm -hmm, me too. You too. And I don't okay. like musical movies. I like the plays but not the movies. Like if I yeah, 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 yeah. I hate musical it, right? movies as well, where the people just break out <laughs> in song random. I guess some of them can be done well, but most of them, yeah, most of them are not done very well. Yeah, Lion King is one exception. One in Amelia is talking about Lion King. I like not the, the not the play, but the actual. It's a cartoon. The cartoon itself, I did like it, and it's kind of a mu uh, musical as well. So, did you see? Did you see uh, the Lion King musical, Mr. Keeps? Have you seen it? Not the play, like oh, okay, the, not the play. The, okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, I haven't should. seen. I've heard um, it's pretty good. I haven't seen the Lion King one yet either, and I really want to. Okay. Uh, living so in how, Denver. Do you go to actually, plays often? Um, usually like once a year. Uh, I haven't gone this year yet, but I've I've okay. seen a couple. Um, I've seen Rent. Um, I saw Wicked. I saw Phantom. I actually saw Wicked twice. I think. Is Wicked that uh, good? I, I wanted to see Wicked. It is. It's really good. Uh, it's. I don't know. This is the kind of issue with a lot of musicals, though. If the sound people aren't on top of uh, their shit, then it might not be super great. Because the first time I went, uh, I couldn't understand anything that anyone was saying because oh, they didn't no. do a good job with uh, the mixing sound. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's really sad. Yeah, Hamilton. Uh, that's pretty hype. I know it's really hard to get tickets right now. Uh, oh, yeah, like yeah. Hamilton is hard. It, I mean, it sold out pretty much as soon as it went yep, up here yep, in, yep, in yep. Denver. Um, but yeah, so I've seen um, uh, Chicago as well. Okay. And that, that was also good. And which one's your favorite so far? Um... I think Rent. Rent is super good. It's really sad, though. Okay, you, you can give us kind of summarize it in like two sentences or three sentences. Uh, really destitute poor people try not to die. That's the the best. Sounds exactly I, like I, my I, life, except it's one person. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much like all all I can say without giving too much away. Okay. Okay. Uh, and it's it's like Christmas time, so it's extra miserable. Okay. Yeah. And Mr. Keeves, your favorite one so far? Which one? Mamma Mia? I, I only, yeah, I only had two, so Mamma Mia. Two? Okay. Sure. Well, I guess, yeah, that counts as favorite then. Yeah. Hamilton, I really want to go see, even though I've never been to any big plays. But, you know, I'm, I'm a... I'm kind of a huge kind of politics guy. You know, I actually enjoy watching stuff, C-SPAN stuff. And me too. So just history and politics, that's all fun stuff to me. Yeah, I, I like politics as well. I watch yeah. our version of C C span, C -Span? a lot oh, of that's yeah. pretty cool, yeah. I I like that stuff as well. So, so when is Brazil gonna go. come out with a play for their historical politicians? 
Oh, they have a lot of movies. Uh, okay. But we don't have a strong uh, play. We don't have. We yeah, have a lot of we don't have that regular theater. At all. We have. None. Yeah, at all. Like we have a, a really a really good uh, theater scene, like with not musical plays. We do have some musicals. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have right now the Lion King and the Phantom of the Opera are playing here, the Brazilian wow. versions. Um, but we don't have a, a lot of originals, I want to say. Yeah, nothing really local, no local scene for it. Yeah. yeah if you go to the theater, well. it's either for comedy or for a drama play. Okay. Oh, uh, like a lot of Shakespeare sort of stuff or... Yeah, I don't, do, you, do you like Shakespeare stuff? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, you're not really a classics kind of guy. I can read uh, Middle English. Uh -huh. Hearing it and understanding it is a little <laughs> little bit different. Is it kind of like uh, trying to watch... Which one was that? Was that the Dark Knight Rises? Which one was that? With, the, with Bane. Oh my god, that was so bad. <laughs> Especially because the theater I was watching it at, the sound quality was not as good, I think. Oh yeah, God. you cannot understand a single thing he's trying to say. And that Juan and Emily uh, mentioned a really good Brazilian movie. I don't know if you guys watched it, City of Man, City of Men or City of God, one of the two. I think it's City of God is the name of the movie, and there is a, a series called City of Men. Okay, so City. what is it about? It's about uh, the slums when they started here in Rio de Janeiro back on the seventies. All the, all the way from the 70s to more, more recent days. It's really good. I think it's like number on no, the top 10 of IMDb's uh, recommended movies or something. Uh, the one directed by Fernando... Uh, yes. Ma I forgot his name as well. Mirellas? <laughs> yes, Mirellas, yes. Exactly that one. It's really good. Oh, so Dan, so you heard of that one? That. No, no, I'm looking at You're looking uh, up, okay. the Wikipedia page right now. Like, I'm not saying this because it's a Brazilian. I'm proud of it. It's a good movie. If you guys okay. have a chance, do watch it. It's really good. And there is a second one that is also good uh, uh -huh. here. In, in Portuguese, it's um, Elite Troop. Uh, I'm going to look it up and see the American name as well. Or oh, and Deafness and Mr. Keys, feel free to respond to chat. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I might have a, I might not be able to respond as much just because I'm, I'm still building a keyboard and my focus is kind of split. But feel free to respond to anyone. No, man, I fully expect you to be able to assemble a pad with just, <laughs> just focus one hand. on chat and with, yeah. with with the Skype call and with the keyboard. Yeah. Yes. And I'll break some. Yeah, I, I don't even think you have to have to look at the pad to, to assemble it. You should you should just know by now, Anthony. Should, come that's on. not acrylic parts though, so I should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was I was replying to folks on chat. It's Elite Squad. Okay. And so what is this about? So I'm almost on the same topic, but about. Uh, the, the policemen and not, okay. the, yeah, the kind of the other side and the corruption on the p police force and whatnot. It's another great movie. So is, okay, so is the police force kind of like in Malaysia as well, where it's very, very much controlled by the uh, Dr drug lords and the, yeah, and the government and stuff like that. Yes. I think we don't really have drug lords. I was in many just politics, I think. Oh no! Here, here was the what we call the militia, yeah, uh, from the, traf the drug traffic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so we that, don't really have that, but ours is really entrenched in you know the, the major political party and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know whenever there's peaceful protests, you know the cops will still use kind of unnecessary force. Yeah, but. But that's mainly it. We we don't have it as bad as the Philippines as well. That one's kind of a whole le another level of crazy. <laughs> you mean that the, the, they are the, the third ones day, that yes. kill, kill the, the the drug dealers, right? The drug yeah, if you supposedly enter the drug, drug dealers, yes. Yeah. Yep. You don't I, even know if you know. And there, there's been you know a few political opponents as well, and it's like, huh. 
<laughs> sure. That guy's you a know. drug dealer, yeah. Yep. Just kill him, sprinkle some crack on him. <laughs> yeah, that, that is crazy. So M Malaysia has a little bit of that as well. Malaysia, no. Malaysia, we are, I think I mentioned it before to some people, where we are actually a very non-violent country. I think a lot of it stems from the fact that when we achieved independence, you know, there was no bloodshed. We There was more of a just, you know, all politics, basically. And so we didn't have to fight wars or anything like that to, to achieve independence. And it's not that much to be proud of. It's probably just because we just had a shit army and no one really cared to fight you know but so that's kind of our legacy and our culture and so when we do a protest you know it's all really peaceful and there's just no major bloodshed it's just not a thing really and that's one of the few good things about malaysia and so yeah so it's not as bad as philippines where you know you have the government going out killing thousands of people like just in broad daylight yeah, so we don't have anything like that. We do have some um, high-profile murder cases from powerful politicians, but not not a lot. So I guess that's you know, nothing the average citizen really has to worry about. So that's kind of good, I guess. Yeah, and I, I want to say something. Brazilians are also very... is We are, have a very peaceful people. Uh -huh. We have very peaceful people as well. I think the main problem here is this um, when, when the all the drugs and all those things yeah, started, yeah, yeah. they started to be like really violent. Mm -hmm. But uh, we don't have a violent culture ourselves as well. Yeah. Okay, so Brian is telling me they have drug lords in KL. So is it really bad? Because I mean, I'm from Penang, and so you know, I'm. It's kind of different from KL, where Brian is from. He's from the capital. I'm from a little island, and as far as I know, we don't really have drug problems or drug lords anything like that in, con in control of anything really mm. and so yeah so I don't know if our politicians are bought up by cartels or anything like that so mm -hmm. Mr. Keith would you say that it's worse in Brazil than in Mexico or is Mexico no is Mexico, Mexico a bigger I think, problem so like you, you were saying about being different in different places yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. so where I live it's pretty good I want to say uh, I live on the outskirts of Sao Paulo so it's it's okay it's not as good as, a, as an American city for instance where you have a really low crime rate and all of that uh -huh. um, here it's it's okay uh, but if you go to places like Rio de Janeiro right now mm -hmm. it, it is really bad because mostly because of drug dealers and slums uh, they it's basically a place where the state doesn't even enter. You cannot receive mail because you get, you know, the mailman would get murdered and things like that. Oh, wow, so what really? happens, That's insane. Wow, yeah. So what happens is that the drug lords of those places, uh -huh. they end up feeling for the state. So they have their own cable distributors. They, If you want to buy milk or something like that, uh -huh. they have the guys to sell you the milk and all of that. So they control all of that, which wow. is crazy to think about, right? Yeah. Uh, how come the state allows for that to happen? Mm -hmm. So I think under the hood, there's a like a good uh, share of people being bribed and all of that of for that to to happen. But it's bad. Like huge Janeiro right now is really bad. They, they are with a military inter inter intervention as well. So mm -hmm. the, the troops are on the streets and all of that. But here where I live, it's it's okay for the most part. Okay. That's still crazy to hear about, though. I don't think it's anywhere near as bad in Malaysia. I mean, Penang definitely not, but I don't see any other states being like Rio de Janeiro. That's, yeah, that's pretty crazy. That's... So Violet Viceroy is saying that a lot of friends who studied Portuguese in university, every program, at least one or two people would get robbed at gunpoint. Well, do you know where that was, Violet? Because it really depends on the... The region. The region. region. Yeah. Yeah, I know I've had people going from Penang to, to KL, where Brian's from, and, you know, to, mostly to study or to work after college. And, and yeah, uh, I've had people who, you know, in just one or two years get robbed twice or something yeah so pretty crazy i know it's kind of it, it's kind of strange going back home the the two, two summers that i got to go back you know you have to check your pockets way more often 
You know, if you're yeah. in any public place, if you're in a, you know, on a bus or something, you know, you have to constantly mm-hmm. check your pockets to make sure your keys are still there, your wallet's still there, your phone's still there. Uh, do you have to, do you find yourself doing that, Mr. Keys, whenever you go back to Brazil? No, not really, not here. Mm-hmm. And I've been to Sao Paulo this, uh, I want to say one or two weeks ago, where we had my company's retreat, which is like we had people over for, from, you know, different places of U.S., uh-huh. uh, Colombia, and we walked around on the streets and it was, I, I was not even worried. It was pretty okay. I was with my cell phone on my, on my hand as well. Yeah. It was fine. It, it happens. I want to say it happens more often, of course, than in the U.S., yeah. but it's not as bad as people may think. Maybe okay. if you're in, in Rio, on a bad side of Rio or in Copacabana, for mm-hmm. instance, where there's a lot of tourists, it would yeah. be bad, but it's not as widespread as one would think. Yeah, well, that's good to hear. That's good that, that you're in uh, a safer place. How, uh, how was your company retreat thing? Anyways, I forgot to ask. It was like amazing because imagine this, uh, we were around 12, 13 people that always worked remote. We never got to know each other in person. So I know that two, one of two things would happen, right? It would e- either be super weird or yeah. super cool. And it was the, the former, it was like, su- the, yeah, the former. It was super good, like everybody connected. And uh, it was like three days, but I felt like I knew them from, for a long, long time. It was exceptional. Oh, cool. Did you uh, tell him to watch your stream? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I want to say that from those 12 people, three or four of them watch. But really? I don't want to. Oh, nice. yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a pretty big number. That's what, 25%? Yeah. And they, are, they have uh, custom keyboards and whatnot as well. Wow, okay. Nice. I actually got into the hobby because of one of them. Oh, and look at you now. <laughs> yeah. Is she proud of you? <laughs> <laughs> they are, and I even brought keyboards for them to try. I bought a, nice, a nice. So free, hot swap, and a bunch of switches. Did, did were any of them at the at the meetup at your place? No, no. Nope. I oh. forgot to tell them about it. You that forgot to tell them about it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I did. I wanted to have them over, mm-hmm. if possible. They they live nearby too. And you didn't think about them. Yeah, he he, he didn't know them. Then okay. Anthony, he I didn't. So. Uh, I did. <laughs> Were they not subscribers? Associated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, out of everybody, I only knew my business partner and one of our employees in person, and everybody else was like only people I knew through computers, like ourselves. But uh, it's okay, Anthony. They're all they're all part of the inner circle of trust now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's cool though to have to. To have co-workers that also like stuff that you like, it's always cool. And it's really people cool. who watch your streams. Yeah, I don't like, I don't want everybody to know about it. It's kind mm-hmm. of weird. But the, the, the geek guys, I, I'm okay with that. I imagine people that work on, on the, our age, for instance, watching me and this guy works with me. What a weird guy. I don't know. <laughs> I would be I would be self conscious to have them watching me. I think. Yeah, can you imagine? You're just you're just you know unboxing another KBD fans product, and and your coworker starts asking you about work and starts talking to you about work and chat. Yeah. You're like, hey, you know, don't isn't this deadline coming up? Why are you? What are you doing? Why are you <laughs> exactly. unboxing the KBD seventy five V three? That's why sometimes I only stream to Twitch because they follow me on YouTube. YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Smart man. <laughs> so if it's outside of business hours, I do the both. But if it's during business hours, I just do. Oh, uh, that makes sense. I get it now. <laughs> See, if you're so smart, you get to live in the nicer parts of Brazil. Yep. Yeah. Twitch, Twitch has been fun. I so the past weekend, you know, I wasn't on Discord very much because I had friends come over from from Abilene and they brought how many hold on at least eight Lego sets to come build let me think two actually two four four so it was like ten Lego sets something like oh yeah it was eight to ten Lego sets to build over the weekend 
So, you know, split between the three of us, and so we just spent the whole weekend just building Lego. And I put on a Twitch stream of a Lego builder, and you know, these two people, they don't really watch Twitch at all. And I... They didn't know that I was actually typing in Twitch chat. And so it's Brick and Nick. I don't know if you guys... Oh, I can put the link in. I think you've oh, uh, hosted him a couple times. Yeah, 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 that guy, yes. Yeah. I only know the set to build it, which I think you yeah. also host, right? Yep. Oh, whoops. What's unrecognized command? Oh, oh. Yeah, and so we were watching it, and, you know, they, they, they were enjoying it. And so I commented in chat saying that, you know, hey, you know, I actually had friends over and we built, you know, eight, eight, I think it was eight sets, eight Lego sets. And I told him that, that, you know, it was my, my friends first time watching the stream. I just put it on and they'd never seen your channel, stuff like that. And, you know, so the guy responded live uh, on stream, you know, saying, oh, Anthony, that's really cool and everything. And then so my friends just freaked out, like, whoa. <laughs> it's like, how did he know? That's yep. cool. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't have chat pulled up on, on TV, so they were just watching the stream, and the, his stream doesn't have, you know, chat uh, in the overlay. And so they said, like, whoa, what? How does he know? Yeah, and I think I think it really got them hooked on, on Twitch. At first, you know, one of the guys was like, man, I don't get why people watch Twitch, you know, like, it's so slow and then after that he kind of he, he got it kind of and he's like oh so this is why people watch twitch yeah so so that's pretty cool sorry i was replying to people in chat by violet viceroy he said that uh his friends got robbed in actually it was in sao paulo it was in sao paulo yes but they were like leading a nightclub or something, so yeah, that that would make sense. Ooh, yeah. See, I'm I'm not about that nightlife. The only nightlife I have, I guess, I am kind of about that nightlife, just not the the usual kind. My nightlife <laughs> is playing video games late at night or or just eating. Yeah, I don't really go out. Have you been to a club? Nope, and I honestly don't really have much interest. What? Dude, yeah. you're missing out on a major part of human life. I can't believe it. <laughs> so, so I used like, to go uh, a lot. You used sounds to go like a lot. good we way to tell, spend dude. money. Look at you with those beefy arms. You know, you used to do CrossFit as well. <laughs> oh my god, no, I never did CrossFit, thank god. <laughs> no, thank you. Sure, man. Yeah, you probably <laughs> you probably got some spray tan as well, right? Oh yeah, that I did with the G-string and everything. Yeah. And you waxed your whole body. <laughs> yeah, I, I nice used to have brown hair too. Like the... What are they called? Those carnivals. Yeah, Carni man, carnival is something very unique about Brazil. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a time where everything's allowed. It's, nowadays, it's more like politically correct, but it okay, used okay. to be hell on earth. Like everything was allowed. <laughs> you, you imagine this, you have like uh, one week off work uh -huh. and then there's party every day and every night. Me and my friend, we, we used to just get the car and drive to a nearby small city where they uh -huh. had like a huge celebration uh -huh. and stayed there for a week. We did that like five or six years uh, in a row. Wow. And how much, how much alcohol did you do? <laughs> I think everything that is wrong with me nowadays is the legacy from Carnival. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It was like night and day alcohol nonstop. It was uh -huh. pretty crazy, yeah. But the good thing is, at least with my friends, we didn't have a lot of drug culture. So I know some of my friends used to do drugs, but I uh -huh. never, I, 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 I liked alcohol so much, which of course is a drug as well, that I never did any, you know, any other drugs or anything like that. So alcohol was enough for me, I, which I'm thankful, thankful for. <laughs> yeah see that's I, I, some, sometimes I do wish my dad had a few drinks here and there because yeah I think growing up I've ne literally never seen him drink I don't think oh okay maybe he's had a few glasses of wine once every few years but other than that yeah he he's a very stoic man I guess and 
Yeah, so very serious. Maybe alcohol would have helped him out a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, my father, he always drank beer mm -hmm. uh, here and there, like the usual stuff. And uh, so Red Hawk says, alcoholic beefcake. Funny fact, I don't even drink anymore. Like I did drink on that uh, company retreat that we did, but of course. it's it's really hard for me to drink nowadays. Okay. I don't I don't enjoy it as much nowadays. I don't know why. Kind of lost its appeal, I guess. Totally. Well, of course. I mean, you did like you did like five decades worth of alcohol in the span of you know a week. <laughs> yeah. So I think I think you're good. I think your body's like, yep, we're not doing any of that anymore. We done with that shit. Yeah. We've hit our limit. At age twenty one. So tell Anthony to check something. Oh wait. Uh, Red Hawk said. Oh, yeah, 100% addicted. Uh, okay, Demi Nick. Big. That's a good catch, yep. I completely missed it, yes. What happened? No, it's just that the one switch on top, we're going to use another switch because... Oh. Yeah, we only have enough for the bottom ones. Got it. Yep. So I had, I had this one time where I was building something and I was on Skype as well with someone. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really hard for me to focus. I think I cannot do two things at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you with feel keyboard like building too. Like it's I don't know, kind of dangerous with the iron, <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. You know, you know what the stock pictures, right? Where you get the the iron from the tip. The what? The stock uh, photos where the, yeah. the, the oh the okay yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember that one. Yeah, yeah yeah yeah. We should find that photo and put it in, in chat. Man, I think some people don't know what you're talking about. I'll look it up. The one of the woman holding onto the yeah tip of the iron. Okay, let me go get another switch for the top. Hold on a second. Oh God. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and of course, Red Hawk was faster than I. Can you? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think cooking and building keyboards has helped me build up quite a tolerance to accidental burns. Yeah, I've, I've definitely uh, accidentally. Uh, hooked, hooked myself one or two times with the oh, yeah. solder, <laughs> and I mean, I just Me I mean too. like if the flux spatters or whatever. Oh yeah, flux spatters. I've kind of, I've kind of just grown to ignore oh. it nowadays. It's yeah, like, you, you build a tolerance. I, I, I've yeah. come to learn that. That's, yeah. I mean, like <laughs> co cooking with hot oil, right? Yeah. yeah. It's Stir fry. Oh my god, dude! All that oil splattering everywhere. So deafness, you cook a lot. Um, I wouldn't say a lot, but I, I know how to cook. Uh, it's just awkward cooking for one person, so. Oh yeah, I bet. Yep, that's why I don't, I don't cook much at all nowadays as well. It just sucks cooking for one person. You spend yeah, hours for a meal and you eat like 10 minutes. And then you have to clean it up yourself. And then you, you're back to clean, yeah, that's it. <laughs> just sucks. Yeah, really sick. And the worst part is that you have a bunch of leftovers, probably. So you're just yeah, and I'm not I'm not the kind of guy who likes to eat, you know, the same thing for a whole week. Yeah. And especially the kind of food that I cook, it's not good for leftovers. Stir fry sucks if you refrigerate it, because the vegetables will all lose their texture. It just gets mushy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But if you Terrible. make something like pasta or spaghetti, then you know it's fine. You can keep the texture kind of stays the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But for. Now I made a giant pot of chicken soup yesterday, and I think I'm gonna be having soup for like four days, maybe more. Oh, see, soup I don't mind having it every day as long as it's some soup that I like. I don't treat it as part of the main meal, I guess. Oh, okay. So, do you refrigerate your soup, um, or do you just keep it heated somewhere? Uh, yeah. Actually, funny story about that. Um. I try not to heat it up on a regular basis. I use the fridge now because 
when I was young and, and God, I think I was a freshman in high school. Uh-huh. Um, I was getting ready for school and I was uh, about to leave the house to take the bus and my parents had already left for the day, but um, my mom had made a pot of soup and it was on the stove. And so I turned the burner on thinking, oh yeah, I'll just heat it up before uh-huh. I, I leave. Yeah. I forgot to turn it off before I left. Oh no. Yeah. Damn, what happened? So I came back and I mean, the the soup had just entirely vaporized and there was just a layer of charcoal on the bottom of the pot, which was, I mean, just, <laughs> oh. just warped to high hell. Yeah, uh, and? All of our walls were just coated in like nasty smoke. <laughs> uh, we, we actually, we had to go um, stay in a hotel for a week while they uh, oh. vacuumed out our entire house. Dry cleaned all of our clothes yeah. and repainted everything. Wow. <laughs> yeah. But that could have been a lot worse. It right? could have been much worse. Yeah, so it's basically just short of, you know, your whole kitchen getting burned down. Yeah, yeah, I, I felt really bad. <laughs> I'm sure you did. And, I, and I'm sure you can make stock of uh, the thing you had left over on the pan, too. No, not that much. <laughs> the trash can. I'm kidding. So. Yeah, it's just, uh, I asked because. The, the thing I u- the thing that my family has been using would have helped in that situation where so w- we use a thermos pot and so you cook with a pot and then you put it into this thermos thing you put the whole pot in a thermos thing and it keeps it warm for up to eight hours well, that's pretty good so it's amazing yeah so for stews soups and anything like that you know you heat it up in the morning. You leave it there, you know, it's still hot for lunch, maybe dinner as well. Yeah, or and so you can heat it up right before you go to bed, stick it in the thermos, and then, you know, the next morning heat it up again so that it keeps it fresh. Keeps it... Um, That's really cool. Yeah, it, it works really well. I don't know how expensive it is in the US because we bought it in Malaysia. And so I brought one from Malaysia, my first or second summer here, I think. Yeah, so it's really nice. I wish I could use it more often, but when I did, yeah, so it was amazing. You just cook it, and you know, you don't have to. You don't feel like you have to refrigerate the soup. That sounds you just, like before something. Before you go to I bed, sh- just heat it up one time. That sounds like something I should get, so huh? I don't accidentally burn down the house again. <laughs> yeah. See. Yeah. So that would have been nice, right? You know, you <laughs> if you had been able to, to to just heat it up the night before, and it'll be hot for breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. So I think Violet Vicero had a question for you, Anthony. Are you an okay. undergrad or a graduate Okay, student? right now I am just back to taking some undergrad classes. Uh, still deciding on a program for grad school. At first I wanted, so I've already graduated two degrees. I already have a bachelor's degree in econ and in psychology. And so I wanted to do either behavioral economics, which is not a thing in the US at all even though it's really big in Europe. And and then, of course, I wanted to do... My second choice would have been environmental economics or environmental policy. And the EPA is not in a good spot right now at all. And so that's kind of up in the air. You know, even a lot of uh, environmental science professors are like, yeah, well, I don't know, we're not too positive on, on the future of the field in the U.S., so so that kind of sucks. All right. Well, I should probably get going. So all right, sure, Devin. Thanks so much for joining us. That will yeah. be my cue as yeah. well, Anthony. Thank you so much as for well. having okay. me. Okay. All right. Well, thank you both of you for joining us. Have a good night, both of you. Everybody, say goodbye well, to Mr. Keys and Devnis. Yeah, thank you, you so much later. for having me. See you guys. Yeah. Bye bye. Definitely have you guys back on. See oh, I, I can do that. Thank you so much. Anytime. I loved it. Yep, Thanks, yep, everybody. Yep, for sure. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm all alone now. Okay, so we are just working on the numpad. Let me see. Let me check. If... Yes. Okay. Yeah, so we're just finishing up the numpad. And I'm going to look at chat since I missed a lot in chat. I apologize. Yeah. So because I was... Talking to both of them, I kind of couldn't focus on the... I couldn't read chat. Okay, so I missed a lot, a lot. Redhawk says, Anthony's nightlife is 2 a.m. Taco Bell. Actually, the closest Taco Bell is... really far. 
I don't know exactly how far, but there's no there's no Taco Bell nearby. Okay, I'm gonna look at everything. Let's see. Oh, am I still in Discord? Whoops. Lol. Let me get out of there. And yeah, Arctic Fox. Hello, hello. Yeah, you missed it. We had the beefcake on. Yep, again, before... Okay, since Mr. Keeps is about to go, don't forget to check out his Twitch channel. Please, give him a follow, subscribe if, if you like it that much. I'm sure you do, though. Cripple said, I feel like a red-headed stab child trying to do this, TKL. I've been emailing you on. So, like I said, over the weekend, I was basically busy, and I actually haven't even replied to some emails from last week. So... And you're the one, one who's, yeah, TKL, yeah, last email was yesterday. I haven't replied to emails from Friday. So I will, I will definitely get back to you. Yeah, this isn't a full-time job and I don't have a customer support thing. And then we did, yes, yeah, so the mod switch is way too big for the top key. And Kripal says, I don't mean not replying. Oh, popular, it seems like TKL. Yeah, so TKL actually is there, but it's all high end custom keyboards. Some people really like 75% for gaming. Maybe you could look into that. I personally prefer it to a TKL. So I like 75% more for gaming than TKL. And I know a lot of other people do too. It really depends. So if you, it really depends on what you want. If, you know, the three things, cheap, fast, and good, right? So if you want a TKL, you kind of just have to pick one of the three. So it's either cheap or it's fast. Yes, and you can get it quickly. It's available. Or it's good. It's usually kind of like that, unfortunately. So a lot of high-end custom boards are TKL, but those are group buys or just kits that you have to buy secondhand on the aftermarket. Uh, the KBD-8X was actually the first one that was ava available in retail, but really it's not. You know, it's kind of still a group buy kind of thing, sort of. Uh, just in, it, it gets released in, and manufactured in batches. And I think, I think what happened was the original plan was to stock at retail, but it wasn't popular enough for them to do that. So for like the KB-75, they can do that and they can just keep restocking it because they know that people are going to buy it. But the 8X, I think, was not as popular as it hoped. Although now I think it's gaining in popularity. Now I think after the initial batch and after they did a couple of fixes, I think that it's actually become more popular, which is strange, right? Uh, that's why you see them just perpetually out of stock now. <laughs> Key cult? Yeah, so, it, so that's the thing. So... If you want something else that is available that you can buy, it's going to be expensive. It could be good, but it'll be expensive. Let's put a box vision on top. Yeah, so Devin Dick, what do you want for the top key? So we've got lubed zillios for everything else. We can't put the mod M. Okay, spare switches. Oh, I have a lot of spare switches. A lot, a lot. Um, 
so tactile clicky linear You're gonna sell the mod M's? I should have experimented. Oh, actually, oh, I packed it already. Yeah, if you can get a good price, definitely sell them. If not, I think that they are nice to just hold on to just for any boards that have loose plates. I think I think that's gonna be good for that. Maybe, potentially. Okay, so I have Zillios in RGB housings. I have box jades. I have RGB browns. I have LED switches. I have more RGB browns. Black housing cherry browns. I have vintage black housings. Some box options. Got some Zillios here as well. Well, yeah, depends on what you want. So Another Zilios? Okay. Do you know if this thing has LEDs for the top key or the numlock key? Okay, I think numlock has the LED. But this thing... It's too late. I think I soldered it in already. Oh, well, whatever. Crippled the non number one was well, four fifty before shipping. That's in four hundred fifty, not <laughs> four dollars fifty cents. That that would be amazing though. It's like a key cult keychain. Visionaire, are you using mod switches on the jet fire? Is that the plan? These Zillios actually look a little lubed to me. Maybe I'm wrong. NGB asks what I'm doing with the old Yamo. So I'm gonna sell it to a to someone locally, I think. So I'm gonna do so I'll basically get my money back. I'll, I'm gonna try to sell it for a 300 because the cheapest you can find the C93s now, the Yamo C93s, are 400 or 450. And. And so I think 300 is more than fair, especially cause mine, I bought them new, I think. Yeah, I bought them brand new. And I've had them for less than a year. Yeah, and they are in very good condition. 
better condition than the 103s actually. 103s had some scratches on the glossy surface. So one cool thing about this is I don't have to do switch alignment for, oh, I have to do one for this key, but I don't have to do switch alignment for these two. So these two, you can see there's pretty much no wiggle room. This one still moves a bit, so I'm going to do switch alignment for this. But the other two? Not necessarily. Vision is sending you Vince for the Jetfire, 62 gram Vince. 103 cry talks and kin films. Nice. Are you lubing them yourself then? And where did you get your vintage blacks? It's so hard to find out. Well, the vice says, I'm at a point with MX switches that don't really care what I type on as long as they're light enough to not cause fatigue, sound good, and don't feel like ass. I haven't even built a custom board for myself, but after three years in the community, I'm so jaded. Jaded, you said? But have you been navied? With the Jays are not very good switches. Then we next says I ordered some more mod M's from mechanicheroes.com. Hopefully those are better. Oh nice. Oh, HB Heroin Bob. Well, that's cool. Yeah, because he's retired now, unfortunately. So it's gone way harder to find decent vintage blacks. Way, way, way harder. Arctic Fox, you're watching YouTube instead of instead of listening to Mr. Keys on stream. I cannot believe it. Red Hawk says, Did I tell you that I spoke with HB Heron Bob on the phone for like two hours going over how to sort the... Holy shit. And he was just talking. That's crazy. When when did this conversation happen? Also, Spectre Penguin, thanks for the follow. I see you. And Violet Viceroy says, If Jades didn't have a lag on them, I'd love them. Yes, I, I would too. Yeah, I think that maybe an in-between spring would be better, but you know, with all the recent problems with box switches, I just haven't bothered experimenting. Has anyone done that? So basically, a slightly heavier spring than the stock jades, but lighter than navies.
so for this last switch I need to do switch alignment. I'm do that. Redox says, but half of it was life talk and life advice. He was cool and down to earth. See, so everyone who's spoken to HB Heron Bob tell me the same thing. Because God spoke to him a bit as well. Back then when he, he was buying a lot of stuff from him. And he said that, yeah. That he was talking to him about work and, and stuff like that. And yeah, so super cool guy. Maybe, maybe one of these days we should have him on, on Monday. Maybe we'll try to get that. You know... <laughs> a lot of people here know him because they bought switches from him and I think that 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 would be nice maybe I've never spoken to him extensively I bought something from him a long time ago but that was it Yeah, so I think that would be cool. Hopefully we can get that done. Yeah, so the plan is to just have people from the Discord. Maybe sometimes I will try to get someone who might be a bigger name or whatever, but most of what I want to do is I just want to get people from the discord just people friends you know that, that we see in the discord and I think that, that would be best and you know we talk enough about keyboards in discord right so it's just to have them on and get them get to know them a little more talk about things outside of keyboards mostly as well Jactic Fox is a, is a big name yeah you're like one of seven foxes then he says I should get a headset on my yeah if you can get that set up we'll definitely have you on when 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 you're not too busy working of course I know you were quite odd hours yeah so we'll need to have people like Red Hawk Arctic Fox Deming Day Juan Emily here you know people that we see regularly in the discord we'll definitely have God on as well so he actually was on my stream um, was it last week last Sunday and we were playing Borderlands. And so I'm sure a lot of you would, you know, <laughs> love to hear what 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 he's been doing. How's having all these ducks and, and OTDs and LZs been treating him. He's a really cool guy. He's got a lot to talk about outside of keyboards as well. And of course, we're going to have Visionaire someday too. And one thing I really want to do is I really want to get Chokan on here. I don't know what time will work best for him. Hopefully, somehow he'll have a holiday and this time can be okay for him. Because if we can have Chokan and Mr. Keeps on at the same time, I think that would be very nice. You know, I wouldn't even do a build. We would just hang out. We'll have videos set up for them as well. I think that would be super fun. Hear the voice of God. Yep, I was a fervent Christian for most of my life. Uh, you know, I'd read the whole Bible, front to back, at least three times. And, you know, in terms of volume, because I read some parts more than others, I would say at least ten times for sure. You know, because I read it every day as a kid. And, you know, I never heard the voice of God until I started working on keyboards. Who knew? Who knew? That it would come to this. Okay, so I think we are fully assembled. Put the rubber feet on. Hopefully the screws don't touch the fucking case. I'm really hoping they don't. It would be very, 
very, very annoyed. I don't think they do. I think there's enough room for this. I, I hope so. Vice says, what kind of switch does a good lot prefer? Spill it. Blacks. Who knew, right? We all thought God was just a white man. says holy hell kbd sherry is replying back to folks on discord i asked if they got my message by wrong bro pipe oh so but they didn't reply to you what happened yeah he's a he's a linear kind of guy he has top three switches vintage blacks browns and box wipes I think he's been typing on a board. He's been typing on an LZ iron with Lou Browns for the past month or so, I think. Okay, so let's test the numpad, make sure everything's working. So this key, I think, is a function key or something like that. Because just now when we were testing, it didn't light up anything as well, but it's soldered. Yeah, so it's probably a function key. Don't quite know what it does. So the num lock. Um, okay. Sweet. Okay, and. Dergrichi, how do you how do you even say that? Ninety five says Anthony, first time I catch your stream. Heard a lot of good stuff about you. Well, glad you made it. First time as always, more than welcome here. How's it going? I don't know. I don't know where you heard about me. Uh, Mr. King says, I'll get my tofu for 65 tomorrow. Oh, are you doing unboxing for it? I want to see it. That brass weight looks so nice. Oh, and by the way, Juan Emily, KBD Sherry is a she, by the way. You think it uses boot mapper? We can we can try it out. Hold on, let me pull up boot mapper and let me plug it in. Okay, let's see whether Deadwing Dick is correct. Hey, you are right. Perfect. Okay, so boot mapper. So it is an FN key. So did you want me? Do you want me to change any of the stuff here? Wow, this. It's all over the matrix, holy shit. Look at it. <laughs> Spread out everywhere. What's up group? And my neighbor posts a stream most of the time. Ooh. Are you in Germany? The Grichi. I know it. Because I, I know absolutely who you're talking about. 
He, he's a good friend of mine. He doesn't do keyboards as much anymore. But, you know, I speak to him quite often. Yes, he's a friend of Zim. One day we'll try to have him on, actually. And so when that happens, you should definitely check it out. We'll have him on Twitch, and so we'll, we'll, we'll talk to him a bit. I don't know. He, I think he might be a bit too shy. He says his English is not very good. But if we can do that, I would for sure welcome it. It would be fun. Just stop. I can change it later. Okay. So this key, you still want it to be FN. So this is numlock. Th these are the stock numpad keys and then this is FN let me see what F N is ooh I see so we've got other keys here so okay see so you got brightness down and up LED mode but we don't have LEDs here so if you want I can do I can do Media controls on it, Devin Dick, if you want, on the FN layer. Yeah, Mr. Keeps, stop feigning modesty. We know your English is pretty good. Change the FN to media. With like. Okay. Alright, so. How about this? How about. Okay, so let's look at. So how about. Play pause, next track, previous track, volume up, volume down. How's that? Okay, so let's do that. And so let's do a... Where is Toggle FN? So what I can do is... So let's go back to boot mapper. So this is how you use boot mapper. So this key is FN. But instead of FN, let's put it to toggle FN2. Because in boot mapper, I don't think there's a toggle regular FN. So you have toggle FN2. Regular FN is just going to be, you know, like a modifier. So toggle FN2, and then that means let's set it to toggle FN2 for everything. And for FN2, we want this to be play pause. Next track. Okay, we'll say quick pet peeve of mine. In pretty much every so uh, keyboard programming software, or whatever, next track comes first and then previous track. Which is annoying because you almost never want to put next track on the left side. You want previous track on the left side and then next track, right? So, yeah, so. You know, it's not, it's not game changing or anything, but it's just, it's just annoying. Okay, so number nine is mute. Okay, so hold on. So we've got play, pause. We've got pre next track, previous track. This will be volume up. And then volume down. And then you want it nine. So over here as mute. This key. Okay. So display. See, so we've got... See, so we've got play, play pause and number... Oh, whoops. What have I done? Just volume down. Volume up. Number nine is mute. Okay. And then anything else? So you also have media, you have calculator, email. I mean, that's mainly it, right? Yeah, let's go for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and upload.
See, this is what I like about Bootmapper. You don't have to do any resetting. You don't have to unplug and replug your board. It should work now. Hold on, let's try it. Okay, so right now, this is the first layer, primary layer, numpad. So, wait, what? Wow, this is so weird. Why is this should bring up? That's not normal behavior, though. What the hell? Shouldn't it bring up page up and page down? Oh, 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 I'm so dumb. Hold on. Let me try it. Nope, for some reason it doesn't. Huh, wonder why. So, with numlock on and off, you know it should have different functions. Okay, but let's try the media keys. See, these should be page up, page down, and arrow, right? Okay, let's try function two. Oh, you know what? You know, okay, okay, I, I, okay. One thing I have to do, hold on. <laughs> I just realized we have no key to return to uh, the main layer. So, we know it's a toggle, so it should work. Hey! Does that work for you guys? You hear music? Go on. Play pause. Then we've got... Loud for you guys, my bad. Let me let me lower the volume. Is it super loud? Okay, so previous track, next track, volume up. Oh wow, that's way volume up. Okay, so there's a volume down. And let's slowly increase. Hey, all right, perfect. And then so if, okay, so we've got the volumes, right? Uh, the, the media control. If I press this key again, it should bring us back to the numpad. That is a toggle. Nice. This is already working so much better than the CLSM. Isn't it amazing? And the Jack Jack Fire Diffuser. Okay. Hey, mouse is fine. You made it. How's it going? How's your money going? What the fuck am I reading? The mouth is fine. <laughs> also, Arctic Fox, thank you for the resub. He says Redhawk is a Toprin nerd. I don't have anything to disagree with. Oh, mu oh my god, the music's still on. Hold on.
At least I didn't have to re-anno the CLSM. Ugh. At least you don't think you do yet. Okay, so... And Valavifer says, Anthony scorned for high-end board shortcomings. Always hilarious to me. I mean, it's more of a thing with value, right? If it's going to be five, six, two thousand dollars $2,000, they better get some things right. Okay, so let's go ahead and put everything back together. I need to I need to get another chair for the streaming desk. This thing is not comfortable and it's noisy. Very noisy. Hi, right, Devin Dick. Uh, fun at work? Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll see if I'll still be on in 10 minutes. I think I should be. But if not, catch you later. Yeah, I don't know where that's from, and I'm, and and at this point, I'm kind of afraid to ask. Okay, so now let's line everything up. And, you know, back to the topic of, of high-end boards with with, you know. Major flaws, it's like. Trying to make, you know, trying to use, using expensive and good beef. And, you know, trying to tell people, look, I can make a better steak than, you know, you with your cheap ass Walmart meat. And, you know, but the beef, you know, the steak is lukewarm. One side is, you know, undercooked. The other side's overcooked. It's kind of dry on the outside uh, only half of it was seasoned you know sure you know it's it's trying to do you know it's trying it's using good good beef you know it's got good intentions but if the execution has so many flaws then yeah then that's a problem Yeah, and I think that, you know, most problems, even if you point them out, it's not going to stop anyone from buying them anyway, so you might as well just show them. And I've had some people tell me that I show a bit too much, like I talk about too much about flaws, and I'm like, well, it's better I talk about them and you ignore them than to not know and, you know, spend hundreds of dollars and you find out, oh, shit, why didn't anybody say, tell me about this? So I think giving you a bit too much info is better. And I think that the stream format lends itself to that. You know, it's it's better for longer content, more detailed content, than say a YouTube video where you probably want to be concise and you need it to be edited. You need to say what's important to keep people's attention. That's why you don't see me make YouTube videos. Just not not my thing. Oh wow, there is a bug in here. Crawling on my leg. Okay, so we've got the numpad assembled now. I think it looks pretty nice. Let me put these everything else away. Uh, 
And again, if you guys know anyone you think you, you might want to... You know, listen to or talk to on the Monday streams, feel free to let me know. Uh, especially, you know, people in Discord, if, you know, like I said, you know, we're already going to have... I definitely want to get Chokan on, I want to get God on. And of course, we'll have people like, you know, especially the more veteran members of the Discord, people like Visionaire, you know, who've been there almost since day one. Been through thick and thin, the good, the bad, and the broken diffusers. Yeah, so definitely something I want to do, and I don't want it to just be a... And I will have some creators on as well. I know Heine Bush really wants to talk about keyboard stuff on stream, so we'll have him on someday too. Um, but yeah, but, you know, there already are a lot of talk shows on keyboard stuff, so I'd rather just talk to keyboard people about things outside of keyboards. Just to get to know them, I think I, I think that would be more fun. Okay, so set this aside. Well, I don't know if it's because people are too nice or everyone in the community are friends or what, but it's like these boards cost like 500 plus dollars. I mean, that's why I think it's kind of good that I'm not close friends with any makers. So that's kind of good, I guess. Or I guess people don't want to be my friends anymore after <laughs> hearing what I, I, I show on, on stream or whatever. Okay, so yeah, so we'll definitely have Heine on. Yes, if it, oh my god. Zeal, he's a busy man though. But if we get Zeal on, we'll talk about food. Fuck all that keyboard shit, right? Nobody cares. But yeah, if we get Zeal on, it'll be about food and about how he should eat rice with a fork and spoon from this day on. This is kind of funny. I was telling my my my. My friends about how he was so shocked when he saw the fork and spoon at the the fork and spoon at the Malaysian restaurant he was eating at. He was like, "What am I supposed to do with this? What do you mean? What you're supposed to do? Just use the spoon to scoop the rice, and use the fork to push the rice in or to stab shit. Right? That's basic, best way to eat rice." The bug just came on stream. I didn't know that. You had such good vision, my friend. Oh, my camera's so good.
Blosky, yeah. So definitely have to get some of those people on. I know Blotsky is quite the gamer. So definitely something else we can talk about. Fellow advisor says, I need to find a Malaysian restaurant near me. The food looks so good. It's so the thing about Malaysian restaurants is it's super hard to find a good one. Because one thing is the ingredients are really hard to find outside of Southeast Asia. And uh, and even stuff as basic as the noodles, it's hard to find. And so even in the US, I have not been to a single good Malaysian restaurant. So it really depends. I know Australia has a lot of good ones. I think England should be okay for Malaysian food as well. Uh, I think Vancouver, from the pictures I've seen, I think Vancouver should be pretty good. Hearthstones is here too. Hey, how's it going? Need to get a good numpad kit someday. Yeah, this one I've been pretty impressed so far. It's not bad. This I like this. The logo on it is really cool. It's a separate piece actually. Triple says, I find a lack of knife in Asian dinner usage odd. Why would it be odd though? What are you going to cut in Asian food? And for me, if you can't cut something with a spoon, meat's probably too tough anyway. Most of the time. Most of the time. Five Vice says, Southeast Asian food is so fucking good. Yeah. Not all of it though. Some of it's kind of kind of bland. But for the most part, yes. And a lot of it is very seafood based. So, and even if you don't like seafood, it uses a lot of seafood flavors, which I like. A lot of shrimp flavor everywhere. Zim, hey, how's it going? Wonder if the Grichi is still here. And Zim says, I'm late, damn, I'm late to the stream. I got the message 25 minutes ago, yeah. So you missed it, we had Devness and Mr. Keeves on, and we were talking on Discord, and one day we'll get you on as well, if you're okay with that. Maybe we can have you and God on at the same time. Hey, let me take us back. See here, yeah, so we tested the numpad, everything works fine. I, mean, I think you were here when we did that, right? Yes, shrimp paste is good, but that's why you have a knife. Wait, like I said, meat. That's why you don't need a knife. Right? Most meat, like I said, you know, most of the time, if you can't cut it with a spoon, too tough. Most of the time. That's fine, says, I don't know why people are so afraid of MSG. MSG is so good. Yes. There's, there's one episode of David Chang's Ugly Delicious show on Netflix where they have a focus group talking about MSG. And it's pretty funny because you hear these people complaining about how, yeah, you know, when I get eat MSG, you know, I feel lightheaded and I feel th this and that and everything. But, you know, during the whole thing, you know, they were handing out junk food to, to the people at the, at the group, at the session. And so they're eating junk food and everything. And so... You know, after they they had all spoken about their bad experiences with MSG, the, the speaker told them, you do know that the food you've been eating, if you look at the ingredients, 
there's quite a bit of MSG in all everything you were eating. And, you know, you were perfectly fine. And then they're like, oh, no, you know, it's just the type that the Asians use that I can't, that, that, that give me a headache or whatever, some bullshit like that. Another virus says, I put a lot of thought into this, too much. And then I think if I were ranking food by continent, Asia would be number one for flavors, Europe would be number one for baking. I think the thing that makes, I will say, the thing that makes Asian food so good with flavors is we had, most of the countries were so poor that we did not have access to good meats. And so we went way over, we went full try hard with making good sauces and good flavors. You know, good spices, good seasonings, because we just didn't have good meat. Like I know uh, my friend's dad, who's you know pretty southern, southern, and you know the loves barbecue and smoked meats and stuff like that, and you know a very very American palate. And even he said, you know, when he went to Malaysia, you know, most of the meats were really bad or whatever. Or at least, I guess he was trying to look for Western food, right? That's a problem. Um, but he said that black pepper sauce was the best thing ever. And he said that, you know, he went to eat this black pepper steak or whatever, like a pork chop or something. It's, I don't know, some kind of meat. Black pepper steak. And he said that, you know, the meat itself was so bad. Like, you know, it just wasn't good steak. But the whole dish together was so good because the sauce was amazing. And he said that, you know, it's crazy how much they can try to fix bad meats. And so I think, you know, if, if especially because like in Malaysia, we just don't have, you know, good land for cows to graze on. So that's why our beef is really bad. But yeah, but flavors, man. And yes, fish head is good. Fish head curry. Oh, man. Sh okay. The biggest sin in the culinary world, or at least in food, in the U.S. is headless shrimp. What the fuck are you thinking with headless shrimp? That's basically where all the flavor is. And you just fucking take it away. And it's so hard to find shrimp head on. You know, in grocery stores here. Yeah, and people cook shrimp stuff. With headless shrimp, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You don't get any shrimp flavor anymore if you do that. I love you. Moki Doki with the resub. Three months in a row. Thank you so much. With the angry. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you here on a Monday. The vice says it adapted a lot from Europeans. That's why they have all these Japanese, Chinese, and Korean, Parisian cafes. Yes. And because a lot of us were, you know... Um, what's the word? Conquered, I guess. <laughs> Good way to put it. By, by European countries. So we have a lot of that European influence. Like, you know, Malaysia. Got a lot of English things. Like our basic Western breakfast is English. The English breakfast. And so I know American people are like, oh my god. They go to England, like, oh my god, the English breakfast is so amazing. You know, baked beans and, and sausage and toast and egg. You know, you put an egg and baked beans on, on, on toast and you eat it and it's so good. And like, you know, growing up, that's that's our idea of, you know, a Western breakfast or whatever. We don't have the American kind as much because 70% of the population cannot bake it. Okay, so this is the numpad. Let's grab the LCCLSM and set it side by side. So I'm looking at chat. Hold on. Cripple says, It's the use of all parts of a bird of fish. Eyes, face, etc. My wife eats fish head and feet and fish eyes. The ways we have in America are good meat parts sad, especially pig face. Yes. People I absolutely agree. That's why it was kind of funny. My my brother would go to places like at Asian grocery stores or whatever and try to ask for the leftover 
uh, shrimp heads or fish heads and like nope we have none they just toss it all up yeah and and even bones as well people don't make use of that like people just throw bones away whereas for me if i make chicken or pork or anything like that you know i keep the bones for making soups and stews but most people can just throw it away and I think that one thing that the American cooking really likes is the idea of mixing meats and vegetables together. So a lot of them, when they make vegetable dishes, they don't, they think of, oh, I just need to use vegetables. Whereas in stir fry, we know that one of the best things, one of the best ingredients for making vegetable dishes is meat. Right? Even just ground meat makes the dish so much better. I haven't, uh, I, I guess I kind of had lunch, but no, I haven't had dinner. I ate at 5 p.m. Have you had chicken feet? It's kind of a love-hate thing, I guess. Although, I'm kind of okay with it. I don't love it. At the same time, I don't hate it. And it says, my lady makes bone broth. Treats me too well. Oh, what kind of bone broth are we talking about? Chicken feet, very yummy. They are in the ass ah, so of the chicken, the little pointy parts. I don't think... Maybe I have? I don't know. I mean, if you just eat the whole fucking chicken, you usually... Especially in Chinese restaurants, you'll, you'll eat the fucking ass. looks all right yeah i mean so are you planning on putting it on the right side or left side i mean if you have them kind of set aside it's not so bad see if you have it on the left side no i think if you have it on the left side okay let's get a let's get a num let's get a desk mat i should just sell all my novel keys desk mats honestly i don't ever use them anymore i just use the myonics ones they are so good and big. They are bigly, bigly numpet, bigly desk mats. Okay, see, so I think if you put the numpet on the left side, and you have your mouse, because most mice are black. That's how they can run so fast. Yeah, so. If you have a black mouse, which is, you know, 99% of mice out there. I think that the left pad, left numpad, black numpad on the left, because it looks so bad. Get a nice balance, I think. Well, advice for says my mom's family's from Jamaica. They have dish called Manish water, which is a goat's head soup. Ooh, that sounds good. And Jamaican me hungry. Emily says, saves all the bones. Sometimes I open top where I think there's some good shot in there. I think about bones. Yes. So that's kind of what I do as well. Yeah, just bones in the freezer. Just waiting to be used for soups. And so it actually, the nice part is, so when I do need to debone a chicken, I don't bother deboning it too cleanly because I can always leave just a little bit of meat on the bone to make soups with later on. Don't forget shark fin soup, right? It's endorsed by the Myonics Death Mat Group. Okay, so see, what do you think? I think doing Dick, I think this looks pretty good. Let me say Anthony, pretty much my girlfriend. Oh. 
Not just your girlfriend. I can be your boyfriend too. Depends on how you're feeling the day of the week. Yeah, so what I think I think I think it looks pretty good. So better look at the numpad we built today. Sure, you're not bad. Take a sharpie and write camp on a CLSM. Hey, I do have a gold sharpie, so I could do that. Still crying on the Anno on the C225. Oh, yeah. If that had worked out well, that would be so great, right? You could use a black sharpie. All right, so that was it. The stream went on two hours longer than I thought I would stream. Uh, the unofficial schedule for the Monday stream is supposed to be seven to nine, but it's now almost 11. So anything else? Any other questions, anything like that? So we'll figure out what we're gonna do next Monday. I think I wanna build the XD84 and we'll probably try to have at least a couple people on. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to look for people to raid. Hey, you know who we have? Our good friend, Mr. Horologist, is actually online. Skip says, good night. He says it was amazing. Thanks for having me. No problem. Yeah, we'll, we'll have you on again next time. Maybe when we have, we could have a, a Brazilian stream. So we'll have Arctic Fox, Mr. Keebs, and some other Brazilians to join. Yeah, we could do that. Yep, yep, yep. And I'll definitely talk to Chokan. Need him on. Okay, so right now we're just going to raid a good friend of ours. Oh, this board's not plugged in. Why am I so dumb? I'm gonna run the credits real quick. We had a lot of resubs today and I wanna take time to thank everyone. Let's see if that works. There we go. Okay, yep, yeah, so thank you everybody for tuning in today. Thank you to Devness for being here and for donating. And Helpful Human for the cheers. I believe it was 341 bits, something like that. And the new follows, Spectre Penguin, Defluat Boys, KB Warriors. And for the resubs and the new subs, Mr. Keeps, Ultra Annie, Directly Fox, and Moki Doki. And so right now we are going to raid, oh no. What have I done? Mr. Horologist, uh, if you like, you know, tinkering, you like watches, you like tech stuff, gadgets, see you there.